Hi, I'm Benjamin, author of Master Math Models and Lead Tutor at Trinity Learning Center. Today, we're going to work on the PSLE Math 2024 Angles of Triangles and Four-Sided Figures question. Okay, so let's begin. It says here, It says here that ABC is an equilateral triangle. Okay, so this triangle here is an equilateral triangle. And next, they say ACDE is a square. So ACDE is a square. All right, so these two shapes have something in common, which is that they all have equal sides. All right, so an equilateral triangle has got equal sides. A square has got equal sides. Okay, and they do actually share one line that's equal. All right, now... Normally, it's a good idea for you to write in the angles when given the, name, uh, the shapes of special triangles and four-sided figures. So, of course, a square is a special four-sided figure. So, the first thing you should do is immediately write in the values because sometimes not writing it in will cause you to forget them and not be able to see the solution immediately. So, one of the most important things is to actually write in the values as quickly as you can. Okay, so for an equilateral triangle, of course, the angles are all 60. And for a square, all the corners are 90. All right. Uh, another thing to note is that, of course, if these two lines are equal, then we also have an isosceles triangle over here. Okay, and for the isosceles triangle, these two angles will be equal. Okay, I'm just going to highlight them a little bit for you to see. So basically, this angle should be equal to this angle over here, okay, since it's an isosceles triangle. Okay, there is also one number that's missing. Uh, I need to fill this in. Okay, it is given that the angle here is 68 degrees. Okay, I've forgotten to put this back in, so just to be sure. All right, let's carry on. Huh? The question then says that uh, the BF is parallel to DE. Here, BF is parallel to DE. So BF is here, DE is here, and these two lines are parallel. Now, normally, if I see something like this, I make it a point to put in lines to show that they are parallel, to remind me later also. And since this is a square, then naturally, these two lines are also parallel, and these two lines are also parallel. And without even asking what the question is, I will immediately show that these two lines are parallel, as well as these two lines, in case I need it later. Okay, so I'll put all this in first. Now, the first question is asking us to find the value of angle FAE. So where's FAE? Well, FAE is over here, and this is the angle they are asking us to find. I'm just going to use a different color so you know what we are finding. Okay, so maybe you might be asking, why isn't it that we are finding this angle? Well, if they want us to find this angle, it is also called angle FAE, except that they will add the word reflex. Okay? reflex angle FAE. So this is not reflex, this is reflex. Okay, so let's label that. Huh? This is angle FAE. Okay, we're going to find this later. All right, and the other one that they're asking us to find is BFD. So BFD is B, F, and D. Sorry, FBD. <laughs> F, B, D. Okay, my bad. Okay, so F, B, D is over here. And this is the angle they are asking us to find as the other angle. So this is angle F, B, D. Okay, maybe I shouldn't write it there. Let me write it here. Angle F, B, D. All right, so this red angle. So now we know what we need to find. Okay, let's begin. So, uh... Well, the first thing we can try to find is to find the angle over here. 
this angle, okay? FAE. And in order to do that, what we need to be able to see is that we have something of a Z shape here, okay? This is known as alternate angles. And alternate angles can only happen when two lines are parallel. Okay, so since these two lines are parallel, then we know that the angles over here and over here, they are equal because of what we call the Z shape, right? The angle, uh, the alternate angles. So if this is 60 degrees, then we know that this is also 60 degrees. So let's label it. Let's put this here as 60 degrees. Okay, why do we want to do that? Well, now that we have put in this angle, we now are able to know two angles in this triangle. And that, of course, allows us to find the third angle. All right, the total of these three angles is how much? Okay, if your answer is 180, you're right, okay? So take 180 minus these two, and that should give me the angle over here. This angle is called angle F A B. Okay, I'm going to label that angle F A B. Okay, I'm going to find angle F A D F A B first. So, but before we do that, we're going to say angle F B A equals to angle B A C equals to 60 degrees. Okay, I'm basically saying that this is equal to this. Then, I'm going to now talk about how to find this angle. So this is angle FAB, and this is equals to 180 minus 60 minus 68 to give me 52. Let me write that neatly, 52 degrees. Okay, and it's a good habit to put in the angle whenever you find it. Of course, this is 90 degrees. Huh? So now with this, of course, we can find the answer to our first question, which is this angle. Now, the total of all the angles here is 360 degrees, right? We call this angles at a point. So if I take 360 minus this, minus this, minus this, I should get angle FAE. So let's go ahead and do that. So the answer, A part one, angle FAE, I will take 360 minus 90 minus 60 minus 52. Okay, if you do that, that should give you 158 degrees. All right, so 158 degrees is the angle here, and we have solved one part of the question. Now we go to the next part, which is, to find this angle over here. All right, now, how are we gonna find this angle over here? Okay, notice it stops here, it doesn't continue here, which means I need to get rid of this part from this angle. But do I know this angle? The answer is yes. I know that this is 60, I know that this is 60, which makes a total of 120. So if I were to add up these two angles and I were to be able to subtract away this part, that will give me the remaining portion. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, remember that this is an isosceles triangle. So that means that these two angles in blue that I highlighted, this one and this one, they are equal. And if I were to take 180 minus the top angle, I will get the two base angles of the isosceles triangle. Okay, I'm gonna find this one, and this is called angle C, B, D. Okay, as you can see, it's C, B, D. So I'm going to start with that. Angle C, B, D is equals to 180 minus this divided by 2. Okay, because they are equal. So uh, maybe I should, add, I should add B, C, D first. B, C, D. So that it's neater. Let's reverse and do angle B, C, D.
And then, from here, we're going to find the angle we wanted to find, which is CBD. Okay, again, CBD is here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So 180 minus 150 and dividing it by 2. So that will give me 15 degrees. All right, so now I know that this is 15. Remember what we were planning to do. Our plan was to take this angle plus this angle to make 120 and then using 120 we will eliminate the 15 to get the remaining angle here so let's do that angle FBC equals to 60 plus 60 and then finally angle FBD which is what we are finding we take uh, 120 minus the 15 to get 105 degrees so we got one answer here we got one answer here okay so we have completed one part of the question we will now continue to answer the other part of the question which is it says here circle the correct answers okay I'm, I'm not sure if the original was the circle or the cancel but we'll just go with circle so you're supposed to circle the correct answers in the following statement what is the statement okay let's read this together huh? the statement says this a b a c b f so where's a c b f a c b f maybe i should use this okay a c b f is it a trapezium or a parallelogram? What is the difference between a trapezium and a parallelogram? Well, for a parallelogram, you've got two pairs of parallel lines. For a trapezium, you should only have one pair of parallel lines. So we need to know whether this shape has two or one pair. Okay? Now, we already know that this is one pair. So the only question left is, is this also parallel well the simple answer to this is that between a pair of parallel lines the angles will add up to 180 degrees so if the numbers here add up to 180 degrees then we know that this is parallel if the numbers do not add up to 180 we also know that it is not parallel so let's try it out you can see 52 here you can see 60 here and you can see 60 here and if you were to add up these three numbers you will not get 180 degrees but let's write that down so we're going to say angle FAC this is FAC plus angle BCA This one is part B, so angle FAC plus angle BC, angle BCA is equals to 52 plus 60 plus 60, which will give me 172 degrees. And this is not 180 degrees which means that the two lines are not parallel, okay? By the way, the name of this rule is interior angles. So if they are not parallel, then we know that it, has, it cannot be a parallelogram because a parallelogram needs two pairs. This only has one. So we can now circle the correct answer. And the correct answer in this case is that it is a trapezium. Okay, next. We know that it's a trapezium because AC and BF, again, let me show you, AC and BF, they are parallel 
So it is parallel. And AF and BC, AF is here, BC is here. These two lines are not parallel as we have proven. Okay, so we know that AF and BC are not parallel. Huh? So we say, so AF and BC are not parallel. And because of this, we know that the, the first answer, which disappeared, okay, it is, oops, it is, and it is not parallel. So the answer will be as such. Okay, so if you want a printable version of this to try again, or if you want to just learn how to do this, then go and join my Telegram group where I'll put in uh, workable worksheets that you can you know, use. And uh, I will also be doing all the other questions for PSLE 2024 tough questions. Okay, remember to subscribe as it will help me a lot. I will really appreciate that. It will help to make this channel more visible to others who also need help with math questions. Take care and I'll see you at the other questions. Bye.